Hello and welcome to Revision Classes on Television. Today we will be having a session in mathematics. Our guide is Shegun Ogunbayo and our topic today is arithmetic progression. So what is arithmetic progression? An arithmetic progression is a sequence that is either increasing or decreasing such that there exists a common difference between consecutive terms. What they are saying is, for example, if I have 1, 3, 5, and 7, I can guess that the common, the common difference in this case is what? His 2. How? By subtracting the first term from the second from the second term or second term from the third term. And here, if I subtract first term from the second term, how we have two. And also, if I subtract second term from the third term, how we also have two. So we can conclude that the diff common difference for this consecutive term is two. And also, we have general formula that we use to calculate the n term of any given arithmetic progression and also the sum of n term of any given arithmetic progression. Then for the n term of arithmetic given progression, the formula is Tn is equals to A plus, open your bracket, n minus 1, close the bracket, multiply by D. Then in this case, our Tn represent the n terms, while our A represent the first terms, and our D represent what? The common difference. In order for us to understand it better, let me relate this to my previous example. Now, in this case, I have what? My A to be the first term. If I want to relate it to this, it means that my, this is my first term. And also, my D is the common difference, which is the difference between the first and second, or the second and third, which is equal to what? Two. Then, lastly, we talk about the N. N represents the number of terms, which is what? Which is equal to what? In this case, the number of terms depends on what we are given in the question. If the sixth term of a particular or the sixth term of arithmetic progression is this, in this case, I know that my n is now going to be equals to 6. So, from this little explanation, let's try and do one or two examples. The first example is, if the sixth... term of an arithmetic progression which is also known as HP is 37 and the sum of the first six terms is 147. Find the A first time, then B some of the first fifteen times. We are asked that if the sixth term of an HP, which is also known as arithmetic progression, is thirty seven, it means that my T. 6 is equals to what? 37. Now, and also, we are given that the sum of the first 6 term is 147. The formula we use for sum of n term is what? Xn is equals to n over 2 
into bracket 2a plus open your bracket n minus 1 close the bracket then multiply by b then close with the big bracket now we use this formula to calculate the sum of what n terms now in this case we are given what if the sixth term of an arithmetic progression which is also known as ap is what is 37 and the sum of the what of the fourth sixth term is 147 which means my x 6 is equal to what 147 now we are asked to calculate what the first term and the first term we know it to be what to be a then in this situation all we just need to do is remember the formula for the n terms and the formula for the n terms is what we have it to be what t n is equals to a plus open bracket n minus one close the bracket multiplied by d now in this case we are given what the sixth term which means in this case my n is now going to be equals to six so that i have my t six is equals to a plus open bracket instead of n i will replace it as what as six then i will have six minus one close the bracket multiply by d then six minus one definitely is going to give me five and i will have what from here i will have my t my t six to be equals to what a plus open your bracket and six minus one is going to give me five then close the bracket multiply by this so that we have t6 is equals to a plus 5d 5d but remember in the question we are told that if the sixth term of an arithmetic progression is 37 which means anywhere i see t6 i'm going to replace it as what as 37 so our new equation will now be 37 is equals to a plus 5d i can name this equation one We are told that the sum of the first six term is 147, which means I know the general formula for sum of n, n term, which is what? Sn is equals to n over 2, open bracket 2a, plus open your bracket, n minus 1, close the bracket, multiply by this, close. Then since we are talking about sum of the first six terms, it means that I need to substitute for my n, which is equals to 6. So we have x6 is equals to 6 over 2 open your bracket 2a plus open your bracket again our n still remain as what 6 minus 1 close the bracket multiply by d then close the b bracket then at the end if i i need to simplify this equation by simplifying this equation now we have what c6 is equals to 2 here 1 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 6 is going to give me what 3 open the bracket i will have 2a plus 6 minus 1 is going to give me 5 multiply by d that is my common difference it's going to give me what 5d then close the bracket now remember from the question we are told that the sum of the first six term is what 147 which means anywhere i see hex 6 i'm going to replace it as what as 147 so that at the end i will have 147 is equals to 3 over 2a plus 5d close the bracket now in this case i can decide to do i can simplify this in two different ways is either i divide both sides by theory or i multiply the other side and multiply it through by what by theory but in this situation i would rather prefer multiplying three to open this bracket but when you get to me you can try to do it the other way by dividing it by dividing both sides by three we are still going to arrive at the same answer so from here i will have 147 is equals to three multiplied by 2a is going to give me 6a plus three multiplied by 5d which is going to give me what 15d then i can name this one equation two Don't forget that we are asked to calculate what the first term which means we are looking for a now we have two equation and in this case when we have two equation it means that this equation is a simultaneous equation which we need to solve it simultaneously so by bringing these 
two equations together, we have what? 37 is equals to A plus 5D. Remember, is what? Equation 1. Then the other one is what? 147 is equals to 6A plus 15D. This is what? Equation 2. Now, from here, we can solve this simultaneously. The secret about solving any Simon question is we normally use three methods, but in this case, we can decide to use two methods. Is either we use elimination method or substitution method. But I always advise my students to use elimination method because of what time factor. Now, in this case, how are we going to know where to use elimination method? All we just need to do is we consider this equation. Is it we look for a way that the coefficient of equation one coefficient of a in the both equation we look we, we look it in a way that is going to be the same or the coefficient of of d in the two in the two equation will be the same what i'm saying next is that we are going to look for two number that we can use to multiply equation one and equation two respectively respectively so that the coefficient of a will be equal or the coefficient of what the d's will be equal so for me i will try to look for a way that the coefficient of a will be equal so how am i going to do it the only thing i need to do is i will multiply the first equation by six then multiply the second equation by one then when I multiply first equation through by 6, it will give me 6 multiplied by 37. And we have 2, 2, 2 is equals to. Then 6 multiplied by A. How we have 6A plus. Then 6 multiplied by 5D. How we have what? 30D. Then the second one, since is 1, if I use 1 to multiply through this equation, the equation will still remain the same, which means 1 multiplied by 147, how we have 147 is equals to 6a, 1 multiplied by 6a is still going to give me 6a, plus what? 15d. Now from here, we can see that the coefficient of a's are now the same, and it will now be easier for us to use the elimination method. And how are we going to eliminate this? Is either I subtract and now this is now going to be, before I continue, this is now going to be my new equation, which is equation 3. I can still remain the, name this one as my equation 2. Now, to use elimination method, all I just need to do is either I subtract equation 2 from equation 1 or I subtract equation 1 from equation 2. So whichever way, we are still going to arrive at the same answer. So from here, let me just subtract equation 2 from equation 1. At the end, I have 222 minus 147 is going to give me what? This is going to give me 222 minus 147 is going to give me 75. Then is it equals to 6a minus 6a. This is going to give me what? A 0 plus 30d minus 15d. This is going to give me what? 15d. So at the end, I will have 75 is equals to 0 plus what? 15d. Then at the end, 0 plus 15d is still the same thing as 15d. So I will have 75 is equals to what? 15d. But remember, we are looking for this. So we divide both sides by d. At the end, I have what? Divide both sides by, by 15. I will have 15 and this, I will divide this place to by 15. And at the end, I will have this cancel this. Then 15 here, 1. 15 is 75. is going to give me 5. So my D now, which means my common difference is equal to what? 5. But remember that we are asked to look for the first term and not the common difference. So all I just need to do is, I will go back to any of these equations and substitute for my what? For my common difference in order to get my first term. So I can decide to choose any of these equations. Which equation you decide to choose definitely is going to give you your first term. So I, uh, let me take equation, let me see, let me take equation one. So from equation one, I will just write from equation one, We have what? I have 37 is equals to A 
plus 5. Now, instead of writing D, remember that we have our new common difference to be equals to what? 5. So, just substitute it back. So, I will have multiply by 5. And at the end, I have what? 37 is equals to A plus 5 multiplied by 5 is going to give me what? 25. But we are looking for the common difference. All I just need to do is collect like terms. Bring this one to come and meet his family. And from here, my A now is now going to be equal to 37 minus 25. And A now is now going to be equal to what? 12. Which means the first term is equal to what? 12. For the second question, we are asked to look for what? We are asked to look for the sum of the first 15 terms. Now, remember what I told you. We know the general formula for sum of n terms. So, the sum of n terms, we know it to be, let me remind you again, xn is equals to n over 2, close the bracket, 2a plus, open the bracket, n minus 1, close the bracket, multiply by this, and close it. Bracket. Now, since we are looking for the sum of what? The sum of the first 15 terms, which means instead of xn is now going to be what? S15 is equals to this is now going instead of n, I'm going to have what? 15 over 2. Open the bracket. 2. Remember that we have our new a. Our new a, which is the first term, is going to be what? 12. So it's going to be multiplied by 12 plus open your bracket. Our 15 is equals to n is also equals to 15. So we have 15 minus 1, close the bracket, and our common difference, who, which is what? Our common difference is 5. Multiply by what? By 5, then close the big bracket. So all we just need to do here is to simplify. So from this place, I will have my s15 to be equals to what? 15 over 2, open the bracket. We know that 2 multiplied by 12 is going to give me what? 24. Then plus, now let's simplify this. 15 minus 1 is going to give me 14. Then 14 multiplied by 5 is going to give me what? 70. So that we have 17 and close my bracket. From here we have what? S15 is equals to 15 over 2. Open the bracket. 24 plus 70 is going to give me what? 94. Then close the bracket. Then from here I can simplify. This is still the same thing as x. 15 is equals to 15 over 2 multiplied by 94. And from here, we can do it in different ways. Either I multiply this together and divide it by 2, or I divide 94 by 2, then whatever I have, I multiply it by 15, whichever way you want. Then it means that 15 over 2 multiplied by 94. Then from here, I can just divide. Divide through. I have 2 here, 1, 2 in now, 2 in 9 is going to give me what? It's going to give me 4. Then 2 in 14 is going to give me 7. Then at the end, I have S15 is equals to 15 multiplied by 47. And at the end, I have what? S15 is equals to what? 15 multiplied by 47 is going to give me what? 705. So it means that the first, the sum of the first 15 terms is equals to what? 705. Example 2. We are told that the first term of an arithmetic progression which is also known as AP is minus 8 if the ratio of the 7 terms to the 
Ninth term is five ratio eight. Find the common difference of AP. Now, the second question, we are asked that the first term of an arithmetic progression is what is minus 8. First term, it means our A is equal to minus 8. Now, if the ratio of the seven terms to the nine terms is what is 5 ratio 8, which means my general formula for n terms, we have Tn is equal to A plus, open your bracket, n minus 1, close the bracket, multiply by D. Now, we talk... We are told that the first, for the first one, they said the seven terms to the nine terms. So let's take for the seven term. We have T7 is equals to A plus, open your bracket. This is still going to be what? Seven minus one, close the bracket, multiply by B. At the end, I have T7 is equals to A plus seven minus one, six, multiply by D. is going to give me what? Six D. Then remember that we are also giving that the ratio of the seven terms to the nine term is what? Five ratio eight. So we need to get for nine terms. So this is now going to be what? For T9, we have T9 also is now going to be equal to A plus, open bracket, nine minus one, close the bracket, multiply by D. So at the end, I have what? T9 is equal to A plus 8D. Then, since they are talking about ratio, it means that they said, if the ratio of the seven term to the what to the nine term is what is five ratio eight, it means that I have what t seven t seven over t nine is equals to five over eight. And remember, our t seven is what is given to be what a plus six d over our t nine is given to be what a plus what. 8d which is the same thing as what is equals to 5 over 8 but remember that in the question we are giving a to be equals to minus 8 so go back to this substitute for your substitute for what for a so that at the end instead of writing a and we have my new equation will now looks like this minus 8 plus 6d over minus 8 plus what 8d is equals to what 5 multiplied by 8. Now we are asked to calculate the common difference. From this place, the first thing we need to do is we need to cross multiply. When we cross multiply, I will have something like this. 5 into bracket minus 8 plus 8d is equals to, then this will be 8 into bracket minus 8 plus 6d. Close the bracket. Then let's open the bracket. 5 multiplied by 8 is going to give me what? Minus 40 plus 5 multiplied by 8d is going to give me what? 40d is equals to 8 multiplied by minus 8 is giving me minus 64 plus 8 multiplied by 6 is going to give me what? 40, 48d. Then from here, let, we can now collect light terms. How? Take the one that belongs to the same family. Taking this to this other side and bring this one to the other side. I have what? The first one, I have 40D minus 48D is equal to what? Minus 60D D, because this is negative. When going to the other side, it's going to be what? Pos positive. So I have plus 4T. So at the end, 40D minus 48D is going to give me what? Minus 8D is equal to minus 64 plus 40. Now minus 64 plus 40, we can, we can still rewrite it as what? 40 minus 64. Now this is still the same thing as normally, I, normally, I do explain things to my student that when you have this situation, in a, in a situation that you don't want to forget this, all we do in mathematics is when you have a negative sign, it means you are owing someone. Then when you have for positive, it means you want to pay, you are the one that owns that money. So I'm owing someone minus 64 and I have 40. So if I decided to pay all the 40, I will still be owing that person. And how much I, am I going to be owing that person after paying 40? I will still be owing that person how much? Minus 24. Then from here, since we are looking for the common difference, all I need to do is I divide both sides by what? Minus 8. Minus 8. So that this is now going to be divide both sides by minus 8. Minus 8. This cancel this. 
minus cancel minus. 8 here, 1. 8 in 24 is going to give me 3. So my D is now going to be equals to 3, which means my common difference is equals to 3. That's the much we can take today on the program. Join us next time for another educating session.